Karen Morley, your city sleuth, and today we're at the Saskatchewan Science Center at an exhibit called Imaginate. Hey, Colette. Hey, Karen. Tell me about this Imaginate. So Imaginate was designed and built by the Ontario Science Center, and it's all about creativity and innovation. So we're creating the conditions here to allow you to be creative and wacky and wild and discover new things and become an inventor. And play with wind tunnels. And play with wind tunnels. Yeah, so right now, I've got this wind tunnel in front of me, and I've made a paper airplane. I also have a ball of paper and a flat piece of paper. I want to see which is going to go better. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so these are all hands-on kinds of things, right? Where the kids get to come and play and see what happens and experiment, right? Absolutely, yeah. Like this over here, holy. This is very, very visual. Now, you said that there was different things for the visual oriented person and for the person more oriented to sound. <laughs> yeah, Look for it. sure. Yeah, these ones interact with our feet. Um, there's one over there that's bubbles that is really fun as well. So and you can uh, step on the apples and they yeah. move. Very yeah. cool. And they cycle through uh, different scenes. So this one over here is different. I like the bubbles. You can pop the bubbles. Very cool. Okay, so kids can come over here and so this could be for anybody, all ages, right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. I think there's going to be lots for the little kids, lots for the bigger kids, and tons for mom and dad okay. as well. <laughs> but the one, my favorite, yes. is this place here. The sound panels. Oh, it, yeah. that's what it calls, yes. sound panels. So right now, we can create music touching these uh, different lighted areas of the of the walls. Okay, and you can change what and they do. Yeah, so we had a bit of a dance beat going on earlier. <laughs> so it changes depending on how many people are in here and <laughs> what they're touching. It's a lot of fun. So you get more people in here, you get a richer yeah. sound, and you can also loop the sounds as well. So we can record it and have it going, and we can see if we can actually get a real dance party going on oh, in here. Oh, very cool. So you could have a whole bunch of kids in here. Yeah. Oh, this is too much fun. <laughs> now, this where I fun. found you hanging out yes. was this direction. <laughs> yeah, I like anything with lights and sounds, and I like interesting materials. So we've got this really cool thing here. It uh, takes note of your heartbeat, and it builds upon your heartbeat. So if, I'll grab this one here. And the more people you have on it, the more rich it will become. That's amazing. Yeah. So you can you can play off of each other. I love that part of yeah. it. It can be interactive on your own or yeah. with the other. A lot of the exhibits are set up that way, that it can just be one person or you can collaborate or you can compete. And that's another big part of creativity and innovation is having a competitor there who pushes you to the next level okay. or who has a different idea than you and you see who can do it better. Uh, yeah. That's all part of innovation and creativity. Cool. Well, and you also have some things like that look like arts and crafts almost, that the kids can come, Yeah. younger kids, and even he, these stools. <laughs> yeah, I like that the stools have different materials in there. Yeah, look Here's at that. Here's one of our material carts. So here there's feathers and ribbon and all sorts of things. Oh, wow. And so, you know, you can make a hat. Uh, maybe to wear underwater, or yeah. that works as an MP3 player. Wow, this is just amazing. And you said there's 18 different exhibits. Yes. So you could come, and this is all part of the price of your standard admission? Yeah, it's included with general admission, and I have a feeling people are going to come back again and again with this one. I have a feeling so, you're going to have a hard time yeah. getting people to leave. Yeah. Well, and if you have a membership at the Science Center, admission to this exhibit's always free. Okay. So, yeah, come back again and again, and, and it'll be fun. And it's here until? January 6th. January yes. 6th, okay, yeah. so people really need to get down here and yeah. and do this. And what do you think that most people will take away? What are you hoping that people will take away from having spent an entire day here? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could spend a whole day in this one exhibit for sure. Uh, feeling like they can take more chances creatively, I think that would be a really great message for people to walk away uh, with. And being able to see unexpected uh, uses for standard materials. A lot of this stuff is, you know, we've got paper plates and feathers and things, but we're going to make a hat out of it, yeah. a hat out of paper plates, you know, so being able to look at new materials in a different way. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. So Colette, you're looking a little different than usual. <laughs> Can you tell me about this face collage? So yeah, for sure, we uh, sat down and took a picture and it is on display for everybody to see and they're gonna get to watch me play with my face. 
That is amazing. So <laughs> anybody could do this. You can swap yeah. out the eyes and the nose. You know, I always wanted blue eyes. Okay. There we go. And so you could see what that looked <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty handsome, I have to say. But it's an experiment in symmetry, right? To see what symmetry does for your face, so whether you like it or not. Yeah, apparently the most attractive faces, according to science, are ones that are symmetrical. So that's oh. why when you put in a funny eye, we kind of throw everything off there. Yeah, but that mouth really suits you. It, it, I think it's really goofy, and that's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, there's lots of interactive uh, parts of this exhibit for sure. Here, I, I'm going to want a mustache now. Awesome, yeah. Perfect. I love the mustache. Thank you. So Colette, this is another really interactive display. What have we got here? So here we've got some wings on you. As a kid, we all wanted to fly. I actually, I'd like to fly anyway. Call me so, Icarus. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to check and see how fast you can flap your wings. Okay. There's also a, a scale over on the other side, so we can check out if you were a bird and you were however many pounds, what kind of wing speed would you need? This is hard work. So right now you're doing 70 beats per minute. Wow. And a hummingbird does approximately that per second. Wow. So I think you need to flap a little harder. <laughs> okay, well, thanks so much for the tour. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Come on down to the Sask Science Center and let your imagination soar. Thanks for joining us.